You got to go on. Yeah. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this is Bobby Rowe, and I'm the advocate for Outer Circle, ladies and gentlemen. Logan Price. <laughs> Your mouth gets you in trouble all the time, boy. Next Saturday, you're going to find out what the Outer Circle is all about. That's right. Hey. Ready? You want me to say something? Yes, sir. Picture the mouthpiece. Oh, great. I don't want to talk. You said something else. Small. You, you want to step back, Clay? You, you, yeah, Clay, tell him about Logan. Yeah. You, you got some stuff. You tell him. I got some stuff on my mind. Well, first of all, William first the Coward Jackson, I gave you a little time, and you're still not here for a face-to-face -face confrontation, so he's ducking. He's ducking. That's Wait. the damn theme in this country. He's ducking. Right. right. Just like Wait. Mitchell. Like Mitchell ducks uh, Willie. Why is he ducking Willie? I don't understand. Because he's afraid. Why? But Willie, that's ducking fine. You duck all you want. Because I know what, where you'll be Saturday, October 17th for Survival. That's Saturday. Yep. This coming Saturday. October 17th. So, with that being said, Will, you know, prepare. Even if somehow we focus too much on each other and somehow, what's his name, the mechanic? Uh, the maniac, what do we call Duncan. it? Duncan. Duncan. Du another Duncan. Duncan McGee. Duncan McGee, number two. Yeah. Because number yeah. one's Will. Yeah. Uh, Will, somehow, if we focus too much on each other and either one of us walk out with the U.S. title, I promise you, this ain't over by a long shot. Jared Black. Jared you, Block. You mispronounced it. Block, that. right? Yeah. Block. Block. So he's a, like, I don't know. So Logan put together pieces. He's built like a cinder block. Do you not see his head? Oh, well, yeah. Man, so. Man, so Logan's out here playing with kid toys and building Lego sets, right? Pretty much. So oh, he's this building... is the Lego yeah. That's is that what Logan sounds like when he's in his crib? Is that how he's putting his team together? Lego? Because I told him that he had to warm his meals and watch him to sleep a little bit. I think I'll pick this he block, I'll pick this block, and that block, that's my team. Basically, yeah. So, so and, and that's a good point, Hunter, because he's building all oh, these God. combustible elements. One of you touched on, I think it was Dustin. What did Logan do at the beginning of the year to oblivion? He bit my freaking ear off. Wait, he's touching that? What? What is he? Mike Tyson? Mike Tyson now. Oh, sorry, I have a bad ear. Oh. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so um, he turned on all of us. Jared Block. Block. Yeah. Um, Slipknot Groupie. Uh, slip. Drunk Slipknot group. Slip Groupie in like the fourth <laughs> row. Um, and who else we got on their team? Uh, we don't know one of Oh, well, yeah. Time's, Time's the drunk and slip not okay. groupie. Thinks he's And they're mystery. And they're other mystery. Ooh. And Bill. Mystery, mystery. But Logan's building all these combustible elements, and what he doesn't realize is, like my Twitter says, there's strength in numbers, and we are more solid of a unit than any other faction that has ever graced the backyard. Any promotion as well. We're going to prove it comes survival. So Logan, like I said, your boys just can't measure up. I, can I say something? Yes, sir. Go ahead. Let me yeah. let me get this elephant out of the room. Uh, sure, no, 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 no. Come here. Come here. <laughs> you know, and here's something that I don't understand, and I never will understand, and it's one of your close personal friends, Eric Tyler Moore. Oh God, yeah. Uh -oh. You see, Eric, you big dumb bastard. You got, you, you, you decide to team with Logan after everything he done to you. He ended your career, which I've done numerous times, but yet, shit, you still came back. He jumped Mercer, Mikey, and even yourself at the Hall of Fame speech, and yet you still want to join him. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. What sense does that make? It makes no sense. I'm telling you what it's going to lead to, Eric. You know, you boot, you, you've had a great career, but now you're just going to be on the downfall because there ain't nothing going to happen, but Logan Price is going to let your ass down. Down, down. You see, Mercer will vouch for me. Bob will vouch for me. Hunter will vouch for me. I have preached and preached and preached ever since I beat Channing <coughs> Steele. You should join a winner. You should join me, and you can be with the outer circle right now, but hell no, you decided to go with the biggest slap nuts of them all, Logan Price. It's not benefiting you. It's making you look more of a dork than you already are, and it's going to make you even look worse when the outer circle slaughters Logan, Logan's team next Saturday. Mm -hmm. 
So I think the reality check here is not just Logan, because we all know he's the biggest bitch in the company, mm -hmm. but Eric, where is your head at right now? Why would you pick him over us? Why would you even want to associate with someone who stabbed you in the back at was what was supposed to be one of your biggest moments at the Hall of Fame with Oblivion? Mm -hmm. That makes no sense. No. None. And then after me and Mikey put it all out on the line, and I came up victorious against Mikey, he wanted to put on the Mercer shades and act like he was a fan of mine, and he had me fooled for a quick second, I won't lie. But guess what? I'm going to touch on team versus team real fast. And if you don't think the outer circle has the advantage, you're just plain dumb. Okay. Because three out of five members of the Dark Wolf Lodge, or whatever they want to call themselves, Logan, Kind, and Will, are form former world Bam. champs. Yeah, cool. um, but Jared Block and Mystery, Block? Mystery McGee, oh. <laughs> I mean, they're not world champions. Every single member of the outer circle has had multiple, correct? Yep, three of them. World title runs. Well, two of them has short world title runs. Still, though. Mm -hmm. Oh man, okay, okay. Let's let's cut to the chase here. Right. <coughs> How many titles you got? How many world titles have you won all together? All together? Yeah. Five. Okay. Let's put this together. Twelve and eleven is what? Twenty-three. What's five? Twenty-eight. That's twenty-eight times. How many times has he won a world title? He's been here twice. That's a good game. Uh -huh. That's 31 times. Thir In my world title, that's 32. 32. That wow. is 32 times you world heavyweight championships. And what do you guys got? You got Kine who held it for like an hour maybe because after he beat me, he ended up choking in the, the unification title match and lost to hey, Nicole. Hey! hey. And then you got... Logan, who's won it twice, and then one of them, it was just for 45 minutes. 45 minutes. And then, oh, he wants to go on and then, from you know, here's, that rain. here's the insulting part. William has the most decent title reign on your whole team. <laughs> <laughs> That's that like a slap in the face to every backyard wrestler there is. Yeah. So, with what Mercer's saying is, and fans, if you're watching this and if you think that the Dark Wolf, Dark Wolf uh, Stripper Club, whatever yeah, the fuck they're called. disgusting. If you think for one second that they have a chance against the Outer Circle, you should probably reconsider your life, not just watching us. You see, when it comes down to it, one second, <laughs> you're looking at the best team ever assembled, not in... ETW, PCW, GSW, ACW, yeah, whatever the fuck the boondock kicks are up to these days. Yeah. Yeah. You're looking at the best team ever assembled, you know, and there's nothing no one on that team can do about it to stop us. When Mercer is focused, he's one of the most dangerous competitors on planet Earth. When Hunter's focused, when I'm focused... <laughs> When Hunter's focused, he goes to a place that not many people want to see him go. He's determined, and he'll strike you faster than anything, because I know, because I've been on the receiving end of it. And me, well, I'm just an ass kicker. That's all there is to it. And then Bob, Bob just Bob likes Bob. running his mouth about us. <laughs> it makes us feel good. So Amen. Suck on Amen. that. You got something you want to say? Yeah. Okay, go ahead. Oh, yeah. Don't get me wrong. Winning titles is great. I mean, I would know a lot about that. Mm -hmm. But, um, see, Logan, much like all of us, has won titles, yet all of his title names are trash compared mm -hmm. to all of ours. Um, but, uh, to prove a point, we are a true team. Also, through Don Ogeda, we fight together. Logan, can you say that your team will fight together? Because last time I checked, Will and Kime couldn't even get along. Jared Block is a nobody, and forever will be a nobody. In case you've forgotten, Hunter Vector, Dustin Little, and Bob have all been a team throughout the entire journey of their wrestling career. 
Sure, we haven't really gotten along sometimes with Clay, mm -hmm. but uh... We've always respected him, though. Yeah, something that you don't have for any of your team members. You're only out for blood. You didn't care whose blood it was. Tell me, what. how the hell do you think that your team is going to stand against the Elder Circle by themselves, let alone led by a Hida, a one Hida, commander of death? Tell me, Logan. I am like Hida. These, these people are warriors. Your team are a bunch of bitches. Tell me, how are you going to stand? I'd love to know. Because all I'm hearing is you running your mouth, making bold claims that the only reason that Dustin Little is the world's heavyweight champion is because I retired. Newsflash, you stupid bitch. I did not retire. I stepped away. Something obviously you need to learn a little bit about because you need to step away from the mirror long enough to realize that the damage that you have caused yourself and your team will always be right behind you. People like Clay Mercer caught on to your bitch ways. People like us who've known us since day one that you are the biggest bitch to ever exist. And all back there dressing and hear me out when I say this, even Tyler Adams would understand that you, compared to him, you are the bitch. Always and forever will be. People like us, we get connections to Matt Thunder, to Dak Ryan, not because we suck dicks. Well then, you know, how you suck Eric Tyler Mullen's dick all the time? No, we get these connections because we are true wrestlers. Tell me, Logan, do you know what the fuck that is? No. You just like to sit behind a camera. You like to be a keyboard warrior, something that uh, obviously Eric Tyler Mullins knows something about because he taught you. True. So continue being a keyboard warrior, pointing fingers that I wear too much makeup, but at the end of the day, with or without makeup, I'd still whoop your ass. That's mm -hmm. true. He'd still whoop your ass, been proven. Weren't you in a career versus hair match and you lost all your goddamn hair? True. Yeah. He's yep. beaten you numerous times and has the titles to prove it. Well, Bob, well. Bob could beat him anyway. Bob could beat him anyway. He, he, he may be in the retirement home, but buddy, he could run, run circles around. Heck him. yeah, hello, he sir. Right, shit. Right, Bob, it's right. Clay right. Mercer caught on to your little fucking ways where you want to play pretend and have everyone on your side, but realize that you will forever be beneath him. Right. Why? Because all of us together are a team. Mm -hmm. All of us together are unstoppable. Well, you don't know shit about being unstoppable because the entire, if your entire career is based off of lying on your back and moaning, bitching, and complaining. We know. Boys, take away. All right, um, let, me, let, let me throw this out real quick. Yeah, you see, last year when Hunter texted me and he's like, we got a problem with Oblivion, I need you to come back. And I did. And as soon as I came back, I made a point to Mikey Reedy and I said, Mikey, what makes you think you were Logan's first choice? And later on in that event, what happened, Bob? Mikey seen it, Mikey it did, did it, and he left Logan in the dust. So let me ask you guys something that's teaming with Logan. What makes you think that this is about a team? What makes you, why isn't it just this? Why isn't Logan just using you to boost his ego so he can hope and pray that he can beat the outer circle? It's not going to happen. You boys need to open your eyes that Logan is just using you for his own dirty work. He's always done it. He always will do it. There's a reason people don't want a team with him. Look at the facts. Earlier this year, him and Nicole were a team. And what happened? Nicole seen it. Nicole knew it. She stabbed him in the back. Because she had to carry all the weight. Exactly. 
And it's a lot I'd of say this in a promo. I'm used to that though. Yeah, true. His entire career I carried. I said this in a promo <laughs> earlier this week, and I'll tell since you guys are here, I'll say it again. The two people that will carry that team isn't Logan, isn't Jared Block, isn't Mystery McGee. It's going to be Kyle and Will. And damn, them two can't even get along for more than five minutes. Mm -hmm. So, you ask me, the, the despise is going to be the lack of teamwork that we all know that's going to happen. Correct. And Logan's big ass head getting in the way. And I just want to point this out real quick, Logan Price. The only reason if you're even in the Survival War matches because your little bitch ass decided you didn't want weapons or anything like that in a match against me to start Survival War off. But newsflash, and these guys and gal will admit, I don't need weapons to hurt somebody. I don't need a damn thing. So if you even make it to Survival War, consider yourself blessed. I will not stop Saturday until and this is nothing against Team Dark Wolf. It's just against your leader. Team Wolf. Who who says who uh, didn't he make a promo saying me and Nicole were entitled? Is that what he said? He said yeah. He said, yeah. All, he said we're all entitled. All he called me a waste of space and said you can't get it done on your own anymore and you oh, need wait, 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 time. Wait, he's wait, I think he said that I have to have help every time I Okay, well let me let So me, he thinks you all can't get the job. Let anymore. me bring this up. Ever since your little mealy ass stepped in the backyard, I've been getting the job done. Mm -hmm. I've been burying every gimmick that you bring to the backyard, Jack. Look at Anarchy. I buried that son of a bitch. Look at Kane Larson. Me and Hunter were attacking him, and we buried him. I don't even know how many other gimmicks you have, but I'm pretty sure I'm the reason they're buried. And if it wasn't for me, it was because of her. Ogun's like the pins in a bowling alley, and you're like one of the freaking world tour bowlers, and every damn time you go up, you're throwing a strike and all those pins, and the next set of pins up, let us see. Okay, and hang on one second. And you want to say we can't get the job done, and he has to do everything by himself? Why'd you go bald in the spring? He didn't have help from me. He didn't have help from Bob. He didn't have help from Mercer. Hell, Mercer was probably drunk somewhere. No offense. He didn't have help from Nicole. He did it by himself. Yeah. And every time you have beaten me, I'm going to throw this out there, it's been because of Kai, it was because of him and GSW, and it's been because of Mikey. You've never beat me clean. Has he ever beat me clean? No. I don't think so. He's always had help. Look at the world title match. The unification. I was in it. And who, who, who came out and helped Logan take me out? Kai. It was a tag team match. Me and Khan against Nicole and Logan way back when, last year in November. Who took me out so they could win the match? Khan. And if he if he wouldn't have done it, she would have done it herself because we both know you didn't have the balls on that team and just like you ain't got the balls to yourself now to even think about beating us. So don't say we're entitled and don't say Mercer's a waste of space because we're, Mercer can wrestle circles around you any day of the week. What do you have going for you, Logan? You can bring your fat ass knee up like this and smack it to make it sound cool and look good on camera. You can do this all you want to because we all know you're doing that enough in the bedroom to do a Superman punch. And then you want to do a pedigree. Newsflash. Where'd you get the pedigree from? Me. I've been doing it ever since I stepped in the in the yard in GSW. You're a phony, you're a fake, and you don't know your true identity because you can't even do your own moves. You have to steal it from everyone else. You steal my pedigree. You steal my anaconda vice. Oh yeah. So I said it earlier in a promo. I'll say it again. You're just nothing more than a cheap ripoff, Dustin Little 2.0. Wait, 0.5. No, it's 2.0. 2.0 is greater than 2.0. Oh, go ahead, Buster. So, so has everybody said the piece? Anybody else got anything to add real quick before I sort of wrap this up? We'll put a, a nice little outer circle around I'm all this. PBR sounds nice. Okay, so, so Logan, I'm going to sit down here a quick second so you can look me in the eye and take off my glasses and my hat so you can see how damn serious I am. That's hard. Kinky. Son, you want to call me a waste of space. See, first of all, you don't even get the big picture still, okay? 
not about Clay Mercer anymore. It's about the outer circle engulfing the backyard wrestling world. We don't give a damn who you are. If you're from Michigan, if you're from Tennessee, wherever the <laughs> fuck you come from, come get it kicked. Come die on the hill. Now listen up. I feel like this is a good point to wrap it up on. Logan, everything that's been said, every damn statement, has been a fact. Nothing but a fact, and deep down you know it and you're scared. Which is why you know deep down that someone on your team will let you down in the Survival War match. So let me wrap this up in a nice little statement, unless, again, I'm going to say something after you get done. You get done, okay. go ahead and do your thing. Okay. Yes, sir. We'll yes, sir, Bob. And we'll wrap it so up. you see this nice blood red outer circle beautiful sweatshirt here. What Logan seems to not get, that everything within this circle, SVBW, anybody that wants to step up to the plate, they're bleeding. This, this circle right here, this is family. The outer circle of everything, guess what? We're family, we stick together, we have each other's backs through thick and thin, and we're just like a circle of damn sharks waiting to eat you up. Wait, nothing, Team Dark Wolf, better get your big boy pants on! Big because we're coming to kick y'all's ass next Saturday. Top top for now, bitches. He called a bitch.